Hey guys, happy Halloween and happy last day of Vlogtober. Uh, we just got to the doctor's office, so I'm gonna go in and have my appointment, which should be pretty quick. And then I have our infant car seat next to me, so we're gonna get that installed um, after the appointment and hopefully switch around the girls too. All right guys, we got all three in here. So the baby is gonna be where Lara was. Now Lara's behind me and Evie is all the way in the back, but we're still able to put down, these two seats here are like two in one that can fold down in case we need more trunk space. So we put her on the single seat. Oh my gosh, when did my car become full of three kid seats? Oh my goodness, what is going on? But it's a nice service that they do at the hospital. So they check to make sure obviously that the car seats are not expired, that there's no warranty issues, which I guess is like a double-edged sword because if they did find something, you're pretty much forced to buy something new. Uh, but they check, they ask like where the straps are hitting your child, how much your child weighs, things like that. And then I just have peace of mind knowing a professional installed my car seats. So it's about 10 now, we're gonna head home probably do like an early lunch and uh, everything this week has been like let's try to do it early um, and then I really hope to make dinner early because I know we're gonna try to go out trick-or-treating after I pick up Evie I'm not gonna want to make dinner like after we get home and all that so uh, that's my plan for the morning. All right, so Lara has been asking to go to the park and it's finally a nice enough day that we can go. I don't even have a jacket, I just have a sweater drinking my coffee. But she's gonna play for a little bit and hopefully this will tire her out so she can get a good nap before our afternoon activities and all that. She just, she has no problem climbing on anything. She just goes for it. Oh, everything's a little, oh, it's a little wet. Is it a little wet? Hmm. Okay, so I just quickly cooked up some chicken tenders and some green and red bell pepper and onion with a little bit of taco seasoning. I cooked it all <clears throat> in a pot on the stove but then I throw it in my mixer, which is something I learned from Samantha from Happily a Housewife. I use this paddle, um, I guess that's not the paddle, but I don't know what attachment that's called. Um, and you can easily shred chicken, so it's genius. So I'm going to put this actually back in the pot and I'm gonna throw in some corn and that will be kind of like the base of our dinner. And then I also just shredded up some cheese and some lettuce. We're basically gonna do like uh, burrito bowls. We were gonna do fajitas for dinner last night, but because Dan worked late, I wound up just doing a leftover night. So we're gonna kind of have like fajitas, but instead of putting it into taco shells, we'll probably just put it over rice because I made rice last night uh, for Dan's dinner. So we have that already in the fridge. So we're gonna kind of do like burrito bowls, like I said. And I also have avocado, we have tomato, we have cilantro. Uh, actually, I'm gonna cut up the cilantro and put it with the lettuce. That's what I usually do, because then I can put it on the girls and they don't really notice that there's like an extra ingredient, but I love cilantro and they always eat it when I make um, like the avocado and tomato cilantro salsa. Okay, it's 12.30, my shredded meat is done. I did also add in some bay leaves and a little bit of just jarred salsa just to kind of add a little more flavor. So that's gonna cool, I'm gonna leave it in the pot, I'll put the lid on, pop it in the fridge after it cools down a little more, um, and then I'll be good to go for dinner. And then I cleaned everything up, I washed all the dishes that I used, and I'm actually going to run the dishwasher, but first I'm gonna make myself some lunch because I haven't eaten yet and it's 12.30. Um, I just switched some laundry into the dryer that I did earlier. It's actually, there's a black long sleeve shirt in there that I need for Lara's ladybug costume, which I just laid out on the table so they are good to go. Evie is being a penguin, as you guys may have seen in that <laughs> thrift haul. I got this at a thrift store for $3. And then Lara is gonna be a ladybug, which was a costume that Evie wore. Um, but it comes with these little stockings that are so cute and then the hood has like little antenna But I need a black long sleeve shirt for her to wear. Oh and shoes. 
I'll have to look and see if I have any black shoes she can wear. And then Evie's just gonna wear, this costume is long sleeved, but I just packed her another long sleeve shirt and then some black pants, just like stretchy pants. And then it comes with these little shoe covers that are like penguin feet. I mean, it's just adorable. So that is gonna be their trick-or-treating outfits. She got this at school and she lost it in her bed last night. So she said, can you find it for me? So I did find it when I was cleaning up their room before nap time. So I have to bring those with me, but I need to remember to bring the shirt out of the laundry. Alright, so I changed yet again. It warmed up a lot today, so I just needed to get out of that thick red sweater, and then I had a t-shirt on and pants, and then it was too hot for pants. So we're gonna head out and pick up Evie. We got Lara in costume. What are you? Ladybug. A ladybug. <laughs> what do you say when you ring the doorbell? Trick or treat. Trick or treat, that's right. So I have Evie's costume in here. I have an extra change of shoes at the bottom, her treat bucket. I have some healthy snacks like fruits and vegetables and water just in case. We don't wanna just fill up on candy and be grumpy. So we're gonna go head out. Can I ring the doorbell? round one of trick-or-treating we went to this like little historic town that is just to die for beautiful um, so the girls got a little bit of candy we walked up and down just one street which takes a little while with little ones but they had a good time and now they're working on a little Halloween craft while I warm up dinner well first you got to put all the pom-poms on so you got to cover your whole plate you got to put them all the way around yeah, you're doing a good job. So these, you needed glue, but I didn't have any. So I just went into my sewing kit. I knew I had this. It's like fabric glue, but it'll work fine. So I got these little crafts at Michael's a few weeks ago. So they're going to work on this while I work on dinner. Yep. Now please. Now I need aisles. Now I need Okay. Now. Here, right there and right there. Okay. You put it pointing Never down. Mouth. Good. Oh, stick it on. Well, they didn't turn out half bad. We have like an entire bag of extra parts. So it's just after five and we are gonna sit down to dinner before we go back out trick-or-treating. We're actually gonna go back out trick-or-treating with my sister and her husband and my nephew in their town, which is also very cute. So, should be a good time. Oof. What were you doing today? I'm going to trick or treat. Yeah? With what do you... With your what? With my basket. With your basket? Yeah. yeah. And what did you say at the door? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Did you have fun, Evie? Yeah? yeah? And Daddy's going to. And Daddy's going to go too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's going to be a cowboy. He's a cowboy. He's a cowboy. He's a cowboy. Is that a thing an orc? Orc? Does that mean I have to wear a costume? You have to wear ears. So Evie wore these to school today, but they're telling me I need to wear a costume, so should I wear the headband? Wait, I gotta fix that. All right. Go? Should I wear the, the ears when we go out? 
Do I look like I'm 12? I think so. All right, it is 5.30, it is golden hour, it's beautiful outside, it is so nice and comfortable, it's like 65 degrees or something. It's like perfect walking around the neighborhood weather. So Dan's got the girls in the van, we're gonna go head out and go trick-or-treating. Give me wait up, mama. <laughs> it is now the next day. It is November 1st, 2018. We are officially done with October. We are done with Vlogtober. So I thought I'd just finish out these videos uh, today. We actually wound up getting home not too late, but after putting the girls in bed, Dan and I had to read for our Bible study. Um, and then we just wound up sitting on the couch and talking until really late. So I didn't get a chance to edit, which is totally fine. Um, so I'm going to just tack this little bit on to yesterday's vlog and have this be the end of October. Thank you guys so much for watching this month and this series. I love doing it. Like I say in all the videos, for me, these are like little time capsules that I get to look back on every year and see the girls grow up and just have these memories of what mom life was like you know when my kids were little so as much as you guys enjoy watching them and i so appreciate that you enjoy them um i really just do it because i love to have these memories documented and um be able to look back on them so we are very excited to be just winding down and getting ready to welcome a new member into the family right at the end of vlogtober the timing worked out nicely he didn't arrive early i was able to complete the whole month um i still technically have two a little less than two weeks i'm technically due november 13th but he could really come at any day so we're just waiting on him and yeah, we're excited about this next phase. I've had a lot of people ask about Vlogmas, um, which I did do last year. Did I do two years ago too? I might have. Um, and I just, the short answer is I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be transitioning from two to three kids. I don't know what kind of temperament he's going to have. I, I just, I don't know. So we're just going to play it by ear. Um, I definitely have some videos to share in november i have to share the room reveal of the nursery which is 90 percent finished i still have a few things to do to finish out this room but i'll certainly be sharing that when it is complete so thank you again so much for watching guys thank you to anybody that has joined and subscribed in this month welcome i love having new uh, people in the comments section and people telling me they're new. It's just so exciting to grow this kind of internet family that we have going on. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.